So let's begin lecture 2 which would discuss the basics of Arduino programming, the concept of digital outputs and then we would look at a practical example of a blinking LED or light emitting diode. So as part of today's lecture I would like to show you guys what an Arduino application looks like. So we would build something called as a sketch in the Arduino application. Then I would discuss the f a few basics of how do we achieve programming for Arduino. Again, this would just be basics. We would learn more as we would go along as a part of this course in future lectures. Then I would discuss the concept of digital outputs a few technical concepts of sourcing and syncing. Then we would understand the LED. I would also explain the basic example of a blinking LED and how we would implement that on the Arduino board. That said, let's start. So now, let's spend some time looking at the Arduino application. So as you see, your Arduino application would look something like this. So this is where you would write your program as you would see in the future part of this lecture. There are simple tabs where you can new, open, you can make a sketchbook, you can upload some programs. We would all see different options uh, in due course of time. Then there were standard uh, editing functions like cut, copy, paste, select all. Then as a part of this lecture, we'll also see how to verify or compile the sketch. Remember in lecture one, I had discussed that the compiler needs to be called in to convert the basic program into something called as the hex file. The tools folder here is a fairly complex option where you would be able to select the kind of board that you have as you know that as I said that Arduino has different kinds of boards. So the board that I discussed as part of lecture one was the Arduino Uno board and uh, if you have different boards you can actually select that. Now what that does is that your Arduino compiler understands that how to convert the program written here into the board that you've selected. So uh, as a part of this course we will look at different boards but for now just understand that you can select the board from here and again there are some uh, advanced concepts as well which we would see in due course of time. That said we will be using this uh, application in this course. So that would make the understanding a lot clearer. So now let's move on to understanding the basic concepts of programming in Arduino. A program is basically a set of instructions that will actually tell my Arduino board what to do. There is a rather general way of understanding how to program. It goes in different phases. So the phase one or part one of your program would be something called as variable declaration. So what do you do in your variable declaration? Say your part of your program there is some value or some object that you would use again and again and that object let me say x for example can take different values. Now different another meaning would be variable. So hence your variable x if you end up using again and again and that takes different values then I would 
use that as a part of my variable declaration. The second part of my Arduino program would be a function called as setup. What do I typically include in my setup? I would discuss or include all those parameters that stay constant or permanent as part of my program. For example, if I want that a particular pin or point on my board should always be of the type output, means that it's giving something, I would do that declaration in my setup. Suppose I want to instruct my Arduino board or the microcontroller, the MUSI, that I would like to communicate with my computer via the serial port at a fixed speed of 9600 bits per second. We will cover the serial port in a future lecture but just for now assume that I want to communicate with my PC at a fixed speed. I would specify that here. So that would be my setup. The third part of my Arduino program is something that I would call as a loop. Now as the word suggests, a loop is something that I would do again and again and again until I power off my board. So, if I would like to blink an LED or a light as a part of this experiment, at intervals of one second, so that is a repetitive function. That would be as a part of my loop. So, in my loop, I would specify some basic functions, some logic that I would like to do again and again and again. This logic can be implemented with some conditional statements which we will see as a part of this course conditional statements like if while so they are quite similar to English if I would like to do this then you can do this while this is happening you, you please do this so these are conditional statements which we will look as part of this course So the third section that was the loop would be here and then in slightly more advanced cases we would include a fourth section which would be some general functions. Again uh, please don't get misled by the word general. They are specific from a user's perspective. So it, th these functions are defined by you, the user. But why would you define this function is if you're doing an operation that needs to be called in your loop, 
that is your void loop it makes sense to make it into a function for example if I want to display the term hello Uh, cut there, take it from example. Take it for, for example. For example, I want to display the term hello on some sort of a specific display. So first I would have to do H, then E, then L, then L, then O. I could do that in my void loop. such that I do H then L then E H then E then L then L then O but that would make my program very long rather I would make a function called as hello and do the display part here rather than here and just call the function here calling it void hello so we will see these examples as a part of future lectures but I just want you to understand that when you're programming using Arduino you can break up the program using four sections namely your variable declaration your setup, the loop and the general functions. Let me point out the fact that you don't have to follow this but it's just a good style to follow since you're learning from scratch. So that said 